It has been an incredible year for me fossil collecting. I've had some quality finds. I've had everything from my obvious favourite ammonites to fossilised bone from ancient marine reptiles, and even to starfish. So this is this year's top finds of the year. I've had some good stuff. <laughs> I feel sick what I've just found. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that right there. What's going on? Two seconds, I'm gonna put these in my bag. No, in fact, I'm not. I'm just gonna walk over to them. Stop. Coming in at number five was the Hildites malaria that I found. A while back, I found a partial nautilus, which is still living to this day. Uh, usually a lot of things get washed up into the uh, living chamber of the animal after it dies. So it's always worthwhile actually hitting them just in case there's anything that's been washed up inside. So on this occasion, I did. As I tapped it, seen a couple of ammonites inside one of them wasn't actually what i thought was the hildites i thought it was an arneoceros so it was probably washed down from further up north turns out it wasn't at all it was a hildites which is an incredibly rare ammonite along with a couple of other things so the only thing to do was to put it straight in the bag take home get an opinion from a couple of other people and see what they think they confirmed my some suspicions after i got home then it was time for the prep but first, here's the video of me finding it. Ho ho ho! That is an Arneoceros. Now that's most likely washed up, washed down, should I say, from red car, is my guess. But then there's another couple of ammonites. Not sure on that. Not sure at all, but... So of course, during prep, you never know what else you're going to find. There could be shells in there, there could be lobster in there, you just never know. As I'm preparing it, I'm noticing a couple of other ammonites coming out. Then the second Hildites came out, which took me really by surprise. Was not expecting to find a second at all. That was truly special. As I prepare it further, a Cleviserus comes out and a Nodicolioceros, another type of ammonite. At this point, I'm just ecstatic. Then, just towards the end of the prep, another Hildites comes out. A third, like... You don't get many of these joint up together, it just doesn't happen for whatever reason, I don't know, but it's really difficult to find more than one of the same species of these type of things in the same block. So that was truly special. It took a lot of hours of preparation to get this up to the, the spec that I wanted it to. I think I may go back and re-prep it at some point, but that, that'll be later on down the line. But here's the finished product. It was a truly quality thing. I'll probably not find another one like this ever again, so that's why it's got to make the list. Coming in at number four is one of my favourite finds of the year. It was the golden pyrite cannonball that I found. So the good thing about this is, this is untouched by the sea. So this will polish up all gold. As you can see right here, you can see a tiny bit of the iron pyrite that's already in it. This will all be polished smooth. It'll be pristine gold with a nice ammonite inside. That's a corker of a find for the day. Finding an ammonite in these nodules is actually really difficult. I think there's a ratio of one in 18 of them have it. So to actually find one in there of a good quality is actually really, really difficult. So as you can imagine, when I found that, Mine was lost. Knew the man to take it to, to polish it up because I can't do the polishing. He did an absolute ridiculous job on it. This is the video of after it's been prepared and fully polished. So as you can see, the level of polish that it gets on it is just absolutely obscene. This is one of my favourite things I've ever found. I've always wanted a perfectly round golden cannonball to go on my shelf. As you can see, as the last one. Look at that. Truly a high quality specimen. Doesn't get much better. Coming in at number three, and if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you're seeing this video and my reaction to it. It was the plesiosaur vertebrae that I found. 
still can't get over finding them to find not one, not two, but three all within a relatively close vicinity of each other was unbelievable. You just, you don't understand how rare these things are to find. So for them to all articulate together and be put back is phew, something else. Here's me finding it. Right, that I think that is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a big plesiosaur vertebrae, holy crap. Look at that right there. There's the second one. Oh my days, there's only a nice ammonite there and all next to it. Of course, I pick up the ammo first. But look, it's a freaking other one. Look right there. What's going on? Two seconds, I'm going to put these in my bag. No, in fact, I'm not. I'm just going to walk over to them. Scott it. <laughs> look at it. Tell me that. All right, I'm going to put them together and see if that fits. Some might think, and I've had people comment on it saying that that was all fixed and I'd already found them and everything. I actually hadn't. I'd seen that first one there lying underneath the thing. I knew it was a vertebrae, but I did think it was an ichthyosaur. So that's when I started videoing. And then when I saw the plesiosaurs, I was like, oh no, it's got to be more. And then to look 10 yards away a minute later and then finding the second one was unbelievable. And then literally after I'd stopped filming that little clip, I looked to the left and in the distance on some flipping ironstone like dimples that get created by all the water, that's when that popped up. And of course, here's the finished product all uh, prepared up. Only took about two hours to prepare. There was minimal pen work. It was all air abrasion work. So they came out an absolute treat. It's really high quality preservation. So here's the prep find. Coming in, Really close second, I was umming and ahhing which one it would be because it is one of my favourite finds of the year, was the giant harpocerus nodule that I found. I'd only been down on the beach about 20 minutes and then I know what these nodules look like and what they can contain so it's always worth a hit. So I'd seen one a little bit that had obviously come out of the cliff the night before or that morning and rolled a bit down. So I managed to gather that, move it away a little bit from the cliffs and give it a hit with a hammer just to see if there's anything. Nine times out of 10, there's not really anything in there, but you don't know unless you look. And then to see a cross section of an ammonite in there, which was, it looked considerably large, but it's hard to say how big things actually are because you don't know whereabouts that is on the ammonite. That was when I was like, oh, right. Literally took it, I put it up in the, uh, a bit of a hilly bit where you can actually walk up the back up the cliffs hid it away so nobody would be able to see it and then carried on with my day in hope of finding more stuff. And here it is. There's my foot. <laughs> what size comparison? As you can see in here, there is a rather large Harpocerus. Chuffing out. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh my god! Right then. Here we go. She's on. She's on. Oh dear. Right, lens is all steamed up. It's time to get moving. And of course, in true fashion like myself, I found more, more ammonites, more ammonites, more ammonites. It was a nightmare. And then of course, I've got to go back to the back of the big Harpocerus nodule and then flipping put that in my bag, which was a task and a half, task and a half in itself. Luckily, it just about fit in the bag, but it was absolutely plastering it down with rain. It was awful. I still had about two miles to walk. When I got home, I did weigh my bag and it, the bag almost weighed 40 kilos. So you can imagine how difficult that was, but it's worthwhile taking stuff like that back. You just never get that opportunity. So here's the end product of what it looks like now. It was a truly fun thing to prepare. It took me around 35 to 40 hours to prepare. It took, it took a long time. It was a lot of work that went into it, but it's a truly special piece, one that I may never find again. So. 
it means a lot to me that one when I found it and prepared it, obviously. Coming in at number one is actually my most recent find. I had the idea of doing this video again and I thought I've probably got enough material. I'm probably not going to find much, much anything special for the rest of the year. I got a day off work so I decided on Monday I was just going to go out and collect. Wasn't really interested in getting anything too special, just have a good day out. Pick up a few ammonites, that'll make me happy. It was an absolute terrible day of collecting, I didn't get much. It's quite disappointing. I'd already walked past a certain area where I was walking back to. As I looked down to the right hand side of me, all that I can see is what looks like a big vertebrae, but it's difficult to tell just from a distance. But it had two notches on top, so I was like, they look like the neural arches of what a vertebrae would have. So I bend down, pick it up. It's a huge, huge ichthyosaur vertebrae. By the time this video comes out, you will have already seen it and how big it is, but I have to put that in there to find a vertebrae that is just as big as, big as your face. That's amazing. Like, nothing will top that for me this year. Like, I was in absolute shock, just stood there like, it, it, it can't be what I think it is. So obviously here's the video of me finding it literally three days ago. <laughs> I feel sick what I've just found. This is the biggest vertebrae I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God, check this out. See that right there? That is a vertebrae. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Now, of course, unfortunately, I don't have the prepared thing to show you at the minute. I just haven't got around to preparing it yet. But rest assured that will be in a video in the upcoming months, 100%. I'll be around to prepping that in the next week or two. We'll see how it goes. But that's that's the truly special find of the year that for me, I'll probably get a stand built for it. I don't think there's going to be any more coming out, but I will carry on checking. Right, that about wraps it up for this year. If you enjoy the videos, like and subscribe. Follow me on all Instagram, Facebook, etc. It's all the same name, Whitby Fossils on everything. Have a great year, guys. Hopefully the next year is even better. Thanks very much.